Hello, welcome to the video lecture on transmission of a random process through a LTA filter. In this video lecture, we will see what will happen if a random process is passed through a LTA filter. So, random process basically means a random variable which is a function of time. So, here we are going to assume a linear time invariant filter which has an input x of t is a random process. An output of that LTA filter is y of t. And the impulse response of the LTA filter is h of t. And here it is assumed that x of t is a white cell stationary random process. A very special type of random process. So the basic prerequisites of a white cell stationary process is that both mean and autocorrelation function of a white cell stationary process are stationary. Which means the mean value of the random process is independent of time. Since a random process basically means a random variable which is a function of time, its mean value will also be a function of time. But for this very special kind of white sense stationary process, the mean value is independent of time. Its mean value should be a constant. It should be independent of time. And also the autocorrelation function should be dependent only on the time difference and not on the time instance t1, t2. Which means the autocorrelation function should satisfy the condition rx of t1, t2 which is equal to rx of t1 minus t2. Since we have considered a linear time invariant filter, the linear time invariant filter is characterized by an impulse response. The impulse response for this linear time invariant filter is h of t. Impulse response means if an impulse is given as an input to the filter, means if del of t is given as an input to the filter, the output will be h of t. So that is called the impulse response. So since we have considered a linear time invariant filter, the output random process is related to the input random process and the impulse response by the mathematical relation y of t equal to x of t convolution with h of t which can be expressed mathematically as integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite x of tau h of t minus tau d tau so now we will see we will examine the properties of the output random process so, coming to the statistical properties of the output random process, we will first compute the mean of the output random process. The mean of the output random process is given by this relation. Mean, mu, y, since the output random process is y of t, is denoted by the symbol mu y of t. Since it is a random process, it is a function of time. So, which is equal to expected value of the random process of y of t. And since we have already written the relationship for y of t, replacing that here, expectation of integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite, h of tau 1, x of t minus tau 1, d tau 1. Here I have used tau 1 as the variable for integration. Since the expectation is a linear function, we can interchange the expectation and integration operation. So, interchanging expectation and integration, we will have integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite, h of tau 1, expectation of x of t minus tau 1 into d tau 1. And since we know the input x of t is the random process, it is a white sense stationary random process, which means the mean of that white sense stationary process is constant, it is independent of time. So, we can replace expectation of x of t minus tau 1 is mu x of t minus tau 1. So, since the random process is y sense stationary, the mean is constant, replacing mu x of t by mu x. Since it is independent of time, we denote it by symbol mu x. So, taking that since mu x is constant, we can remove that out of the integration. So, which is equal to mu x integral h of tau 1 d tau 1 and we have considered a stable linear time invariant filter which means 
for a stable linear time invariant filter integral and is from minus infinite to plus infinite h of t dt will be equal to h of 0 h of 0 is nothing but the dc response of the system or if we say that to be the zero frequency response of the system right so now we have proved the mean is stationary next coming to the next statistical property we will find what is the autocorrelation function of the output random process? The autocorrelation function of the output random process is given by R Y of T. Autocorrelation meaning auto means self. So it is also called self correlation. So self correlation means we are going to find the similarity of a given signal at different instants of time. Here meaning the similarity of Y of T at two different time instants T and U. So that is nothing but it is given by the mathematical relation which is equal to expected value of y of t into y of t. The products of y of t at different time instants t and u. So now replacing y of t with the expression integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite h of tau 1 x of t minus tau 1 d tau 1. So here the variable for integration is tau 1. And for y of u, the variable for integration is tau 2. So integral h of tau 2 x of u minus tau 2 into d tau 2. Right? And we already know the expectation is a linear function. So now we can interchange the operation of integration and expectation. So bringing expectation inside, we will have integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite h of tau 1 d tau 1. In this integration, integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite, h of tau 2 d tau 2, expectation of x of t minus tau 1 into x of u minus tau 2. And we know that the input random process x of t is a white cell stationary process. And the basic prerequisite for the white cell stationary process is the autocorrelation function is also stationary which means the autocorrelation function is dependent only on the time difference. So now we can write this, this is the autocorrelation function. So we can represent that as Rx of t minus tau 1 comma u minus tau 2. So we know since the input random process is a white cell stationary process, the autocorrelation function is only the function of the difference between the observation times. So, we can write that to be Rx of tau minus tau 1 plus tau 2, where this tau will be equal to the time difference t minus u. So, here we have seen the autocorrelation function depends only on the time difference. So, the output autocorrelation function is given by Ry of tau equal to integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite. In one more integral running from minus infinite to plus infinite, h of tau 1, h of tau 2, Rx of tau minus tau 1 plus tau 2 to d tau 1, d tau 2. As you can see, there is no sign here. The autocorrelation function of the output random process depends only on the time difference, not on the time instance t or u. It depends only on the difference in time. So here we can claim that the autocorrelation function is also stationary. So now we have proved that the autocorrelation function is stationary and previously we have proved that the mean is also stationary. So which is nothing but the basic prerequisites of a white cell stationary process. So thus we can claim that the output y of t is also a white cell stationary random process. Right? So y is random in nature. Why? Because the input x is random in nature. The output is also random in nature. And y of t, so since it is indexed by time, we can claim that to be a random process. And since so the basic prerequisites, both the mean and the autocorrelation function are stationary, we can claim that the output random process is also a white cell stationary process. Thus, concluding, we can say if the input to a stable linear time invariant filter is a white cell stationary random process, then the output of the filter is also a white cell stationary process. 
which we have done already. Thank you for watching.